Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWare.com and today I'm going to show you how to use some tool to create a dramatic difference in a top. You want a fringe look, you want a wedding vibe, this is the perfect look for you. So I've picked a top that I want to use and I've picked some tool. I've cut it in strips, they're about three inches long because you can always trim it up. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. Let's see a big chunk there, I'll just go ahead and cut that away. I'm going to see how I want it. So I'm thinking about just gathering it up like that all the way around the top. So let's get started. I want to double the, the thickness just because it'll give a cleaner look. I like the folded edge to be at this top part so it's nice and clean. And so then I'll just take my needle and thread. I'll feed it through. But be careful that no knot will pull right through so you want to wind it into that oh, the knot and then you're just going to go in and out all the way up so and you'll just keep gathering in and out just want to take your time, it slides around a little. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and cut it and stop it there and then show you the next step. So once you have it gathered so it's even, now you want the person to put the top on because remember the tool does not stretch so you want to make sure and have it so it looks good. Now this is way longer than we want it to be and you just do the same thing with the other pieces of tool. Make sure that folded in is up here. And let's gather it. And then let's take this last one. And gather it. Now, obviously, we're not going to keep it this long, but the next thing you'd want to do, you'll want to pin it into place. But if it's all sewn first, it's easy to keep it where it needs to be. Then you're going to want the thread. You're going to want to knot it up. And make sure the thread matches so that if it comes through to the front side, nobody will see it. You want to almost go back into the same hole and then keep it even and consistent going all the way around. You'll continue that all the way to the end. Then when you're all done, that's when you're going to go back through and just cut it to the length that you want. Now a good way to do it to keep a consistent guide is to have a piece of paper or something that you can just make sure it stays consistent all the way around. I'm going to trim a little off and then go back in and clean it up. A little bit more. There we go. Gives an interesting look, makes it just a little bit different. Um, another thing that you can do, I'm going to grab a little more tool is if you want to add a little more to it, do the same thing. So you'll gather up the tool around and then you can use a brooch and either put it up here or or in the center. And then you want to go in and trim it up. It's a little different. It's unique, but play with it. 
Choose what you want to do. Simple without the brooch, rhinestoning would be great. Have fun and play with it. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, make sure and subscribe because we're going to have some great videos coming out on hacking dance costumes. Don't forget to check out our website, BeDanceWear.com. All of our pieces are made here in the U.S. There are over 200 colors. You'll find all the basics you need to make an amazing dance costume. And if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, be inspired, be original, bedancewear.com.